Jamson Entertainment. How's it going? Prep work for Independence Day Resurgence. Now I know I said I'd start doing these on Sunday the week before I go see the movie the week the movie comes out. I found out I was going to watch it this Father's Day. I didn't know the movie was coming out this week. Uh, so, human, make a mistake. Prep work for Independence Day Resurgence. Spoiler alert! You've been warned. Independence Day stars Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, Will Smith, and not so much Brent Spiner, but he's in it and he's one of the better parts of the movie. Pretty funny. Uh, Brent Spiner's part is, is like, if he was, okay, this is where my geekness is going to fail. I can't remember who built and created Data. But if he was the ancestor of the guy who built and created Data, and he was really goofy, it would be this guy, it would be this scientist. And the creator of Data would look back and like, yeah, I'm not going to give them emotions. Great minds should probably just be serious. And... <laughs> That's just a theory. Uh, Brent Spiner is just hilarious in this movie. He's clearly having fun with the role. Um, uh, ooh, uh, That's probably the best Jeff Goldblum I can do. The, uh, hmm, and, ah, uh, uh, actor. <laughs> or the pauses. That he makes between lines. Almost William Shatner ish. <laughs> uh, I think this is one of the first times you really see Jeff Goldblum, or this is one of the movies that um, really skyrocketed his career. Either that, it was uh, Jurassic Park, and then this. And he just seems to play each role the same way. He, he, he's kind of has a stutter, or very slight stutter, but he's saying, he, he, um, yeah, uh-huh, or he's, like I, like I was saying, the he, 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 that's like that, but you know what I mean, uh, Will Smith, always good, I always like Will Smith, he was great in this film, I think this was his first film, while he was doing Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, really good job. He's uh, one of the main heroes, him and Jeff Goldblum. The, the, the heroism, or heroism, you know, the stardom isn't held by just one actor in this. It's it's Jeff Goldblum, Will Smith, and Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman plays the president. And he's, I think, one of the best presidents I've ever seen on screen. And, quite frankly... I uh, wouldn't mind him as a real president. Yeah, I won't. I won't get in that soapbox. Uh, so the thing is, U.S. military picks up weird signals in space that seem really close to home. We're talking the moon, and they can't quite decipher what they're saying. And before. Before they know it, these aliens are on top of every major city in the world. And their spaceships, if they're not city size, they're like the quarter size of a city, so like a small city. So they'll take up a quarter of Los Angeles or a quarter of New York. They're huge. And we as humans try to communicate with them and be peaceful because this is first contact. We don't want to start a war. But unfortunately, that's exactly what the aliens are here for. And we learn that Area 51 is a thing. We do have a ship from them. Um, and in a dogfight that Will Smith has with the aliens... He's able to 
outmaneuver them. There's some flaws in this. We the the aliens technology is light years beyond ours. We should not be able to maneuver outmaneuver them in our fighter jets. But to make the movie cool and just I don't know to make Will Smith even cooler, he outmaneuvers a an alien fighter ship and it crashes the alien's still alive will smith is on top of the on top of the alien ship when it opens up and he has one of the coolest lines in the movie welcome to earth <laughs> and he drags him all the way to area 51 although he's not quite sure that that's what he's running into first he runs into um like a flotilla, haha. -ha. Even though it's not quite floating, the fl flotilla of uh, mobile trailers, where you run into uh, Randy Quaid, who plays a. He's portrayed as a crazy former like Air Force pilot who claims to be abducted by aliens, and he was. And we'll get to that a little later. Will Smith runs into them, and they and they run into Area Fifty One. They get turned away. It's like like, dude, we need help. And it's, I mean, you see what's going on. You're the government. You know what's going on. And they're still like, no, no, no. And Will Smith comes up with with the alien bodies. Like, dude, let us in. Look at what we got. So like, oh, pff, all right, you're in. Everyone's in. And Brent Spiner. This is his moment to shine. He's he's goofy. He's over the top. He's just wonderful in this movie. And he gets to perform surgery on the alien. And they split it down. They kind of make it like from Alien. And you'll later on see that Men in Black takes kind of a piece of this in there. Because you got this big alien with a huge head. And Brent Spiner... Makes an incision down the middle, and there's a little alien inside, which you don't know if that's like a baby, or if that's, or if the bigger body is just like a shell for this. But it turns out the alien's not quite dead, and it uses its tentacles to wrap its. Well, it kills everyone in the surgery room. And he uses his tentacles to grab Brent Spiner by the throat. And he presses up against the glass. And the president's there. And the president starts having like a severe migraine. He doesn't know why. And, and, but he finds out. And that like this, there's Secret Service around him. I think. I can't remember which other characters. Like there's a general there. But. He's being killed by telepathy. Like he's feeding, like the alien is feeding him their game plan and probably everything else. But the information is so much that it's actually starting to kill the president. But the there's just like a major there or something and he pulls his pistol and shoots through the glass killing the alien. Yeah, I forgot the one little part. When the alien had his tentacle around both, uh, Brent Spiner's neck, he was talking through Brent Spiner. So that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so the president finds out their plans via telepathy. So the president comes up with a game plan to attack the aliens with fighter jets. But this, the aliens have shields. Again, superior, light years ahead of us. And they can't quite figure out how to get past that. Well, Jeff Goldblum, his character, he works in like a cable news station, but he's actually a genius, like a computer genius. His character at the moment is getting drunk because the game plan as of right now is to nuke the ship. Which would be really bad for the environment. It would really screw things up around the Earth, especially in many locations. It would 
That's like the big message they try to hammer into you in this movie. Uh, environmental awareness. I mean, it's not that annoying. They don't really hammer it in, but Goldblum's character does. And so he's getting drunk over over nuking them, which is understandable. If you're going to nuke, let's say there's 50 ships in the, around the world. That's bad news for humanity. Everyone loses, except for probably the aliens. So he's getting drunk, and he sits on the floor, and his father comes in, and he says, it's cold in here, especially the floor. Get up before you catch cold, before you get sick. And that inspires Jeff Goldblum. He's like, oh, wait, wait, cold. Dad, you are a genius. I love you. <laughs> he thinks of giving the, the, the ship a virus, and he just magically types it in that this, this movie... It's not supposed to be taken seriously, and that's what makes it great. It's 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 good, and it's so bad it's good at the same time. That they, it's just you can't take the movie seriously. It's just a great movie. So it works, and he comes to the president and the general and. You know, all the people that matter, well, I mean, everyone matters, but the people that make the decisions. He says, I came up with another way. You don't have to nuke them. It's like, okay, prove it. He takes an empty Coke can, puts it on the, uh, the ship, and he tells the Major, shoot that. And the shields are up at this point. And, like, people clear out of the way just in case and stuff like that. Major takes aim, shoots, and he hits in front of the can because the shield drop. And bullet bounces off. It's like, okay. Try again. Shoots, hits the can. It's like, oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Now, how long will this work? I can't remember how long it's supposed to work, but it's not very long. Maybe like five, ten minutes, something like that. And then, so the new mission is, okay, we'll use this virus against them. We'll send our fighters in. And we're also, we're also going to operate this ship. It works. Well, who are we going to get to fly this? Enter Will Smith. Well, I I gotta go. I mean, I'm the person, the only person that can that can that, that uh, can uh, ooh, uh, put the virus in. All right. And so Jeff Goldblum goes too. And this is this is a good team. This is a funny team because um, Will Smith's running thing is um, he has a cigar and he calls it his victory dance. You don't. You don't smoke it until the fat lady sings, which, you know, to you win. <laughs> and the, the part, I mean, it's cool seeing them fly through the ship once they get up there, the mothership. But it's it's just so funny when they get there. It's like, because the aliens, they dock, and an alien is, is checking them out. Like, who are these guys? What's going on here? And he's, and... They they put the that there's like um, there's like shutters or something I don't know some kind of shield to cover up the the glass in the ship so they can't be seen but the alien turns that off and is and and whistle was like well who do we do it's like and Jeff Gold was like uh hide and they go behind the chairs and they hide and he's setting up um he's setting up they did take a nuke with them. So he's setting that up to shoot out, and there's a countdown on it. And just before they're about to go, he starts a countdown. And on the alien screen, you see a, uh, a skull going, <laughs> And they fly, they, they, they go, bye bye, see ya, can't do anything about it. 
they fly out and of course you have the explosions going on as they leave and you don't think they're going to leave and make it out in time but you know they're going to make it out in time the explosion hits and they're only with like five feet inside and they fly out it still looks cool old cliche but it looks cool and they fly down and then the rest of the ships I guess aren't protected because their mothership was taken out but they're still difficult to, they're still too massive for us to take out and Randy Quaid's character turns out to be a really noble guy and he he, um, he has kids and and there's he has a quirky backstory because his kids think he's nuts too but they also think it's brave of him for it for doing what he's doing and he has a picture of his kids up in the cockpit with him and he's looking over at it and he's seeing the ship while he's flying he's looking over at the kids and his and you see um the the ship's main weapon is in the middle it opens up and it shoots down because there's a really cool scene i can't believe i didn't mention this earlier they destroy the white house it's really cool Boom! <laughs> and they do it again in uh, in Los Angeles over one of the big buildings over there. I don't I don't know. Um, my, another part of the movie are people are welcoming the aliens so they can like show them love and peace, and they'll stop that way. And it's really dumb, but anyway, this ship is about to fire, and Randy Quaid looks at his kids picture one last time and he takes it upon himself to sacrifice his own life and fly up the middle where the beam is coming out and as he does that no well, he tells everyone and he does it and as he does it he said hello boys I'm back and that destroys the ship. And Bill Pullman says, announce to the rest of the world how you take these guys down. Um, so it's a really great movie. And Bill Pullman's character has... If I watch it again, it's probably really cliched. But it's a really great speech that he gives. I mean, it's over a loudspeaker in the military compound they're in but it is an announcement to the entire world it happens on july 4th this great battle and he says today is not only america's independence it's the world's independence and so after they did the, they defeat the aliens this time they adapt their technology and the trailer for the new movie independence day resurgence shows them well it has the you know the the title saying we've had 20 years to prepare so have they uh will smith is not in this one so i'd like to see how they explain that one but to my knowledge the original cast is still there so we'll see i'm seeing it Sunday with not only my brother but my parents as well. Uh, tomorrow I found out what Throwback Thursday is going to be. THX 1138. George Lucas's first movie. It's good. Friday is why bad actors are famous or how do they become famous. And Saturday is too many games. My first time going. It's it's video games, board games, card games. A YouTube celebrity favorite of mine is going to be there, the Nostalgia Critic. I'll get to meet him. He's pretty cool. Well, at least on screen. I don't know. Don't know the guy in person. Seems pretty cool when he just talks about when he's just himself. So, we'll see. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people will like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Live your imagination.